Hi, in this video, we're going to look at first degree inequalities. Uh, what is an inequality? An inequality is the same as an equation, except that uh, the signs that you will be finding uh, are not the equal sign. You're going to be finding the greater than, the less than, the greater or equal, or the less or equal. Uh, remember that we read the signs from left to right. And uh, in order to know which sign it is, look at uh, what you find first. If you see, if you find the, the biggest uh, side of the mouth, it is greater than. If you find the smallest one, it is smaller than, or greater or equal, or uh, less, uh, less or equal. Okay? So, uh, we've said that inequalities are the same as uh, uh, equations, except that uh, we have those signs. And uh, you can calculate uh, or operate with uh, inequalities the same as with uh, equations, except when you're multiplying or dividing by a negative number. Which will uh, will uh, change the inequality sign. So the greater than will become less than, and vice versa. Okay. Um, so let's first solve an easy inequality. Three x plus one is less than five. How do we solve this? We solve it the same as an equation. We just uh, move the numbers to one side and the x on the other side. We leave the x as a subject of the equation. So uh, 3x will be less than 5 minus 1. And x is less than 4 thirds. Where we have sent the, thir the 3 dividing to the other side as it sits positive. We don't have to worry about uh, it changing the, the uh, sign of the inequality. Okay. Now, let's look at an example. When will we be having to change the sign of inequality? Well, basically, when, the, uh, when we are working uh, in a side of inequality where the x, um, where the x will, uh, uh, the x's are smaller than the ones on the other side. And we can always avoid <clears throat> having to uh, divide or multiply by a negative number. And I'm going to show you what I mean. So we're going to look at an inequality. 2x plus 1 is uh, greater or equal than 5x plus 3. And we're going to solve it two ways. The first way is how I told you how everyone would solve it. And um, most students would solve it. But the second way is, for me, best, because it will avoid having to multiply or divide by a negative number. Okay? So let's look at the first way. The first way will be what every student, most students would do, which is to move everything, uh, uh, all the x's to the left and make x the subject of the equation on the left. So we're going to start to solve it. Uh, x's to the left, numbers to the right. But we have to observe that the x's are greater on the right, not on the side where we're moving them. So 2x minus 5x is greater or equal than 3 minus 1. So then we have minus 3x greater or equal than 2. And we have, we have a minus here multiplying the x, minus 3. So when we leave x as a subject of the equation, we have to change the inequality sign to less than because we're dividing by a negative number. So that's the solution. And we have to observe that we have changed the inequality sign because we've divided by a negative number. And this is something that in an exam might uh, cause problems and we might forget it and we might get it wrong. So what do I recommend my students to always, both in equations and inequalities, move the x's to the sides where they're greater. It will uh, reduce, uh, it will avoid problems like this and many other problems in equations. Okay, so now 
we see that the, we're going to solve it in the second way. We see that the x's are greater on the right, so we're going to move the x's there. Numbers to the left, x's to the right. So uh, 1 minus 3 greater or equal than 5x minus 2x. Minus 2 greater or equal than minus 3x. And then, as you see, we're dividing by a positive number, so that doesn't change. And now we do what I call, we flip the equation. We write it from left to right, which is what we normally, how we normally read. And we have to observe that the x is facing the smallest side of the inequality sign. So x is less or equal than minus 2 thirds, which, as you see, is the uh, same solution, but we haven't had to worry about the dividing by uh, negative numbers. The only thing that we've had to do is the flipping here, which I think is easier because we just have to observe where the x faces the sign. Okay, so let's look at another example. Um, let's do something like uh, uh, 3x minus 5 less or equal than 7x plus 4. Okay, so this is an easy example. We'll just, again, we have the numbers greater on the right, so we're going to move them there. Minus 5 minus 4, less or equal than 7x minus 3x, minus 9, it's more or equal than uh, 4x, minus 9 divided by 4, less or equal than x, and then now we flip, so x is facing the greater side of the sign, so it's greater or equal than minus 9 fourths. Okay? Yes. So, easy. Line, uh, we're talking about first degree inequalities. Remember, we're talking about first degree inequalities because the power of the x is uh, 1. Um, so we have found how to solve them. We have to be very careful with the um with the uh, divide and multiply by a negative number but we've discovered we can avoid it uh, the next thing we have to see is that we can also represent the solution so if we draw a straight line and for example this is minus one minus two one two minus two thirds would be something somewhere like here okay so uh, x has to be smaller than minus two-thirds uh, and smaller or equal. So when we have smaller or equal, what we're going to do is we're going to draw a, a dot here, but a filled circle, one with a filling in, and uh, to show that it's included. And then as it has to be smaller, I'm going to uh, just carry on the line to the left. Okay, so that's a visual representation and uh, the drawing of the solution. We can also put it as an, as an interval where we can say that it is uh, the, the solution is between minus uh, infinite where it's not included. So I put that sort of bracket uh, to minus two thirds, which is included because it's equal. So we put a square bracket. In the next page solution, x has to be greater than minus 9 fourths. So if we represented this like this, and we had, for example, minus 9 fourths here, um, again, as it's included, we're going to fill in the dot here. And then it has to be greater, so we go now to the left. Okay. If it weren't included, I would just do a, a, a circle without filling it in. Okay. And the last thing we have to look at is that sometimes inequalities come in pairs uh, and they're written in, uh, in an uh, abbreviated form. For example, 3 is less or equal than 3x, which is less than 15. Okay, this is an abbreviated form and we have to understand that this in really includes two inequalities, which must... Uh, which must be uh, um, obeyed at the same time. So the first inequality is the left part of that, which is 3 is smaller or equal to 3x. If we solve that, uh, 
then we have one is smaller or equal to x and if we flip it x is greater uh, greater or equal than one okay if we do the right part 3x is less than 15 so x is smaller than 5 okay so in on in this case uh, both things have to be uh, have to happen at the same time. So a good way to uh, uh, understand what the complete solution is, is to again draw, a, uh, represent it on a, on a straight line. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Okay, minus one, minus two, etc. Okay. So the first uh, solution is x has to be greater or equal than 1. It's equal. It is included. So uh, I'm going to draw a dot here. And I'm going to draw it. Sorry. I'm going to draw that to the right because it's going to be equal. The other solution is x is, has to be less than 5, which is not included. So I don't have to fill in the dot so i draw in five i do this and it has to be less so it has to be to the left so our, our final solution has to be the union of both so the union of both is going to be one included so i'm going to draw a filling dot there five is not included so i'll draw a circle there without including it and the solution has to be between one and five not included. If we want to represent this as an interval, one is included. Sorry, I'm, I'll draw that correctly. So one is included and five is not included. So one has a square bracket and five has that sort of normal bracket. Okay, so in further videos, we will uh, look at more complex inequalities.